songs of love. Hello, I'm John Belzer, founder and president of the Songs of Love Foundation. Since 1996, we have been providing seriously ill children and teens with their very own personalized song of love. Each song contains the child's name and all of their favorite people, pets, things, and hobbies. You can imagine what it's like for an ailing child to hear their very own song. The songs have been used as therapeutic tools to alleviate pain and fear associated with hospitalization and medical treatments. I'd like to introduce you to a special program called Raising Funds, Raising Voices, which is designed to boost morale of company employees like nothing else can. Companies like Mass Mutual, Credit Suisse, and Hunt Brothers Pizza have already participated in this unique interactive experience designed to bring a smile to the face of a sick child and at the same time leave participants with an experience they will never forget. For a fee that is comparable to any other team building program, Songs of Love will come out to any location, whether it's a boardroom, conference hall, or any other site, indoors or out, and engage from 50 to 10,000 employees in the live recording of a Song of Love for a local sick child. All you need to provide is the location and the people. We will do the rest. From identifying a local child to providing all the equipment necessary to hold an on-site recording. For years we have been turning ordinary people into recording artists as they all come together in song for a sick child. Here are some amazing individuals from three different companies to describe the experience in their own words. What I love most about Songs of Love's mission is that you know our employees are able to get together as a group and make an impact and it doesn't take a lot of time it doesn't take a lot of effort it's just priceless the, the feeling that we get from taking part in this type of activity like we did with Songs of Love. To see a child and their family um, hear their song for the first time, which I've been fortunate enough to see on several occasions. It, it's just an amazing experience. You, you literally see their faces, uh, the child, especially the child, but the families, their faces just light up. So it makes me feel good when I don't feel well. To have someone to be able to come up with something so simple as a personalized song, that when a child puts that, plays that, um, they are able to forget the pain and the treatments that they're going through. It's an incredible mission. It's something that uh, we were truly blessed to be part of. Songs of Love is a wonderful opportunity for companies to reinforce their core values and to make a difference in the life of a child. The thing about the mission of Songs of Love that I like as an employee of Credit Suisse as well as being a songwriter is that I'm able to do a good thing but also do it at work. The magic ingredient in here is what you feel in your heart and until you experience this it's not something you're going to be able to read about. It's not something you're going to be able to see. It's something you're going to experience. If we can do it, anyone can do it. We're an investment bank in New York City. One, two, three. Brittany, Brittany and, and Dawson. Dawson. We, we think, think you're awesome. Come on, let's hear some energy. That's it, that's it. Your eyes light up the world. We love you, Brittany. The appeal and purpose of Songs of Love just naturally reaches people and brings them into that experience where they realize they're doing a very positive thing, it's an enjoyable kind of fun event for them, and you put all those factors together and it just pulls the group together. Do you think Mass Mutual is worried that everybody's going to want to be recording artists now? But then, you know, you go down the next day and you can download the song and I think typically you'll see a little bit of a buzz amongst the employees talking about, you know, did you download the song from yesterday and 
and it just kind of stretches it out and, and again it, it keeps that kind of harmony and group aspect to, to the employees not just for the one event of recording the song but it kind of makes it last a little bit longer. A lot of companies offer opportunities to do team building exercises. Usually it's going out and climbing up and down in the woods or uh, rope climbing exercises and we felt like this was really something that was going to be a bonding experience for our team. We would like to bring this experience to companies all over the country and the world. This will help us reach many more children without medicine of music and at the same time give people a chance to leave their everlasting mark on a song of love for an ailing child. Literally all the employees need to do is show up. No one knows the song except John and the songwriter beforehand. And so we all learn it together and that's part of the fun. And the fact that we're able to get together a group of you know, 30, 50, 60 employees in one sitting and able to do an, a volunteer activity that has a huge impact within an hour, it's virtually unheard of. The uh, Songs of Love presentation is very quick and easy to set up. We bring the child song pre-recorded with the lead vocal. We set up two microphones and then we record the crowd singing on the chorus and then we play back the, the finished product for the crowd to hear how good of a job they did. We believe Songs of Love is a very wise social investment because they're so efficient in how they are able to cut songs. Uh, they have the cost of uh, being able to cut a song down to such a level that they are able to help many children where possibly another organization might only be able to help one for the same amount of money. Songs of Love has a lot of partnerships within local press communities and even wider screen press communities like 60 Minutes, one of the biggest platforms. You're about to meet a composer whose songs you never have heard, but whose music you may never forget. John Belcher is beginning to compose a love song. His inspiration comes from a girl he hasn't even met. And this is Ingrid, Ingrid Barcia, 16 years old and recently diagnosed with leukemia. Today, Songs of Love is recording song number 12,000. It is for Ronald Sterling. And to mark the occasion, they've recruited a little extra help. 15,000 children. And sung by Bob McGrath, star of Sesame Street. Here's Bob. When you think about the whole experience of having a company do a, a sing-along, it, it really is um, a win situation for everybody. Uh, who doesn't want to do something to improve the life of a child? I'm imagining that this child might be home or in the hospital, not really feeling well, maybe going to the doctor a lot, and, and I, I think it's a great thing for a child to know that they're not alone. It literally could be done uh, at, a, at a lunch break in a cafeteria. So we did a survey, you would not believe. I mean, it was off the charts. <laughs> you can't top this Christmas party. That's exactly yeah. what we said Sunday morning. Yeah. We, you know, we're like, ugh. You're gonna have to ask us to come back. <laughs> oh, we have people saying, are they coming back this year? <laughs> we hope you decide to join our growing symphony. Thank you very much for watching and listening, and may the gift of song play throughout your lives. Hi, Brittany. The Creditors family got together to record this song of love just for you. Hanging out with your friends. Checking out the boys. Casey, Kylie, Chelsea, Lupe, Stefan, Brooke. Everybody, let's make some noise. Brittany and Dawson!